Exactly. It's Wednesday, October 3rd, and today on Big Morning Buzz Live, Creed frontman Scott Staff, yeah. actor oh. Terry Elway, yeah. Joe Walsh from the Eagles, oh. and Miguel performs live. Yeah. I'm your host, Carrie Keegan, coming to you live from the 20th floor of VH1 headquarters with Big Morning Buzz correspondent Jason Dundas, yeah. and yeah. Life and Style senior news reporter Jordy Lippe. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's the deal. Before we get started, yeah. I just need to address something. Um, so I've been getting a lot of tweets and emails and voicemails from, you know, like even people on the street have been stopping me. Ryan Seacrest asked me about this in an interview all about Amanda Bynes. So I want to start all the way from the beginning. Now, last week, Big Morning Buzz Live and VH1 made an offer to Amanda Bynes to join our family here at the show. We asked her to come on as a correspondent and help us report on the entertainment scene. Now, we, feel, we felt and we still feel that her years as a Hollywood insider could provide us with a really, really informed perspective. So when the story got picked up by all the different news outlets, people responded in all kinds of different ways. A lot of people were really happy and supportive of Amanda, and others were a little tougher on her, claiming you know, she was being rewarded with a job offer for bad behavior. We can assure you this is not the case. Now, I don't know Amanda personally, and I don't pretend to, but what I do know is that she has a, a solid body of work that spans over 15 years, which is like an eternity in this business, and the people that have worked with her have nothing but the kindest things to say about her. So we also don't want to make light of her recent legal issues or her personal problems. But Amanda, if you're watching, please know that when you're ready, there is a place for you right here at our table. She's actually in New York, too. Yes, yes. apparently she, she she's been hanging out. She can come she wants. So I, I hope that we hear from her. Mm. Thank you. Now, tell me what else we got going on in the world. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the entertainment headlines of the day. Here comes your five for three, two buzz, guys. And number five. The Nicki Minaj, Mariah Carey, mm -hmm. Idol, American Idol feud is for real. Mm -hmm. And now there's video to prove it. Last night, TMZ posted this video of an angry Nicki cursing out uh, Mariah during an audition. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the deal. I yeah. called this. Last week, Ian <laughs> Drew from Us Weekly was on, and he kept saying that they were reporting that this was like this feud was not really happening, that yeah. the girls were not fighting. Okay. Come on. And then uh, Rob Shooter tweeted today, yesterday, that um, he said the idols are, idol are genius to build up this Mariah versus mm. Nikki problem. Leaked video is so smart. No. No, this it's real. This is really what's yeah. going down. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And I don't know if you guys, I mean, I got a little transcript yeah. of what went down here. Um, Nikki says, I told them I'm not effing putting up with her effing highness over there. Figure it the F out. Figure it out. That's serious. That is serious. As an insider, Jordy, do you believe it or not? Oh, 100%. Two weeks ago, we reported that there was this massive feud behind the scenes, and now, finally, there is the video to prove mm. it. I think Mariah may have met her match. I mean, there's plenty of divas out there, like Madonna, but she'll just give you, like, a one-liner in the press. Nicki Minaj, she will go after you. Well, that is the she thing. She will tear I, I think, that weed yeah. out. I think Nicki is going to bring the drama, and I think Mariah just needs to... Cut it. Yeah. She just needs to make I it. I felt sorry for Paul Keith. The Aussie didn't know what to do. hands up in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's move into number four. As things melt down over there at Idol, things at <laughs> the X Factor are looking up. They've apparently found their hosts. Team Z reports that Khloe Kardashian and Mario Lopez will co host, and that an official announcement is expected later this week. Steve Jones, of course, hosted last season. Uh, I spoke with Khloe and her sister about yeah, the audition did. not too long ago, only a couple of weeks ago. She was super excited. She said she'd auditioned. She said she really wanted the show. Uh, she was a little bit concerned that she's so candid and that she might I slip up and swear on yeah. live TV, but I think she's going to be really I good. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for her to be on there. You have Mario, who's like a little bit more polished, mm. traditional host, and I think Chloe's just going to bring that like extra flair to it and just say whatever's on her mind. Every time yeah. I've met her, she has no problem speaking her mind. I think it'll be awesome, especially when mm. there's contestants involved. Absolutely. I'm excited to see the banter between the judges, Chloe and, and the judges. I think she'll get a tag. <laughs> okay, let's have a look uh, in other hosting news. Number three, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane will host the 85th Annual Academy Awards on February 24th, 2013. Of course, he recently hosted SNL. He was awesome. Who's uh, not going to be tuting in Emmys. to the Oscars this year? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. You know, he actually has uh, an, a legitimate uh, music career. He was classically trained. Uh, I was listening to his album the whole morning. 
It is so cool. Yeah, it is good. I actually went to his house. He has parties up at his house, and he put the whole like 60 piece orchestra is playing in his backyard. Stop it. For and real? How many people? Perform. <laughs> Like, there was a, a hundred million people. Oh, and he puts on his own little concert yeah, in his house. Yeah, that's what he does. And yeah, he he's going to put all of it into the show. They're going to take, yeah, like, all of his talents and put it in there. But As they should. At, at the Emmys, you have to remember, he missed his microphone cue. So, <laughs> I think he has to go to some rehearsals before we see him at the Oscars. Yeah. Now, I want to know what the people uh, down in Times Square think about Seth hosting the Academy Awards. Let's go down to intern Pete. Hi, Carrie. Hi, I'm here with Steve and Ebony. Ebony and Steve, if I tell you this guy's hosting the Oscars, are you excited? Uh, <laughs> who is that? Okay, now if I tell you this guy's hosting the Oscars. Oh! Uh, Stewie, though, okay. <laughs> yeah, guess what? It's the same person. No. Yeah, this is no. Seth MacFarlane, the voice of the Oscars. Are you going to tune in now? I got to well, watch it. Be, yeah, I got to watch that. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> I guess so, huh? Nobody knows what Seth looks like. Well, they will now. They will soon. Yeah, this is going to launch a big time. What do you guys think? Do you think Seth's going to be a good host? Uh, if he doesn't have Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet us include the hashtag VH1. But, okay, moving into uh, number two, there's a lot of back and forth in the rumor mill about George Clooney and Stacey Keebler. First, they're breaking up. Then she's uh, meeting his parents. Mm -hmm. Jordy Life and Star uh, has a story about them this week. True or false, they're moving in together. Stacey's toothbrush is at George's place. You, know, you have confirmation. Wait, how do you, you have know? Confirmation. We have sources that have told us that Stacey and George have moved in. All of her stuff is either during the summertime in his late coma place or right now in L.A. and that they are very happy together. And it was actually his doing, not hers. Really? He really likes that she doesn't call to check up on him. She kind of does her own thing when they go on vacation. She's just a really good travel buddy, so this may be the best person for him. Mm. Interesting. Well, they do move. make a cute cu couple, but I know that Janelle Snowden is not going to be happy yeah, about this at all. Happy. Sorry, Janelle. <laughs> Okay, let's move into the story with the most buzz this morning. Also straight from the pages of Life and Style about another off-again, on-again couple, Robert mm -hmm. Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Now that he's uh, forgiven her, it sounds like uh, they're really on again. Jordy, what's the latest? Give us the scoop. Well, you know, after Kristen uh, got caught with her pants down, literally, <laughs> yeah. uh, she sort of revamped her image a little bit. She's been seen, like, out taking pictures with fans, looking really happy. She said she's not talking to Rupert anymore. And now we are hearing that they may be headed down the aisle. That uh, Rob what? basically gave her an oh. ultimatum and that they may plan to elope in the winter in England in front of a small group of friends. And she wants to do everything to prove that she is 100% devoted to him. Oh, come on! This is, this is like, you know, the boyfriend-girlfriend version of, like, a married couple having a kid to make things better. So I don't know if it's mm. going to work out in the long run, but... It's so fast! Why are they talking marriage? Well, they've been together for a very long time. But... But, like, like after she wants something show this dramatic that happens in a relationship, I feel like we need to have a miseducation class yeah. about this right yeah. now. <laughs> let's yeah. talk about this. Would you suggest is very happy? Oh, God. She's going to yeah, fall over no. again. Um, well, yeah, all of this talk know. about marriage, though, does remind me of one of our guests that's coming on, Carrie Elways. Does anybody remember? Marriage. Marriage. Marriage <laughs> is what brings us together today. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think he needs to be careful. This is going to... Mm. I think he needs to be careful, too, but he's wanted to marry her for a very long time, and she was the one that's kind of saying no, 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 and then after this whole big scandal, she apparently has changed her tune, and now she is more than willing to settle down with him. Should we make bets when about, like, when the baby's coming? Yeah. I mean, she's only 22, so I would hope that they would wait a little so bit longer. But it, yeah. <laughs> and there's no more Twilight movies to promote, so they just need oh, to get through, the, you know, right. this last round where, of promotion. Where do you get these sources from? Oh, we can't have all that. Where does the information me. come from? We need to know. <laughs> Although we, do, we did speak with the person who designed the wedding on set at Twilight in this article, and on the record, she said about how when they were filming the wedding scene that they were so happy and that Rob was going around saying, marry me, marry me, marry me, the whole time to Kristen. So he was in character. He was in character. He was in character. The when the cameras after. weren't off. Uh, uh, okay. Bye. Let's wrap it there. That's your 5432 Buzz this morning. Thanks, everybody. All right. The latest issue of Life and Style with Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart on the cover is on newsstands today. Now let's go down to Times Square where Jim Shearer is getting to know Miguel, who's 